Dear students and viewers, Assalamu alaikum. I welcome you all in my YouTube channel Zed Chemistry. Today's topic is about chemical properties of metals. So, I have made a video about the chemical properties of metals. But that particular lecture is for class 10th. So, class 8th, I have come to that level from that level. सिंपल लेवल पे मैं आया हूँ तो इसलिए ये जो लेक्चर है इट इज होली एंड सोली मेन फॉर क्लास एट लेट स्टार्ट विद आवर लेक्चर केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मेटल्स केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज होती क्या है केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज एक ऐसी प्रॉपर्टीज जहां पे हम मेटल्स को किसी भी केमिकल के साथ है किसी भी दूसरे सब्सटेंस के साथ मिला के वो एनअर सेट ऑफ सब्सटेंस बनाते हैं यहाँ एक ऐसी रिएक्शन एक ऐसी चेंज जहां पे मेटल्स जो है जब भी किसी केमिकल के साथ मिल मिलते हैं तो उनमें एक केमिकल चेंज होती है उनमें एक केमिकल रिएक्शन होती है ऐसी प्रॉपर्टीज को हम क्या कहते हैं केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज कहते हैं तो सबसे पहले हम डिस्कस करेंगे रिएक्शन विद ऑक्सीजन वेन एवर मेटल इज रिएक्ट विद ऑक्सीजन दे रिजल्ट इन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ मेटल ऑक्साइड्स रिजल्ट इन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ मेटल ऑक्साइड एंड दीज मेटल ऑक्साइड आर दे आर बेसिक इन नेचर दे एक्ट एज अ बेसिस फॉर एग्जाम्पल हियर सोडियम इज वेन सोडियम इट कम्बाइन विद ऑक्सीजन इट रिजल्ट फॉर्मेशन ऑफ सोडियम ऑक्साइड सेम इज केस विद पोटाशियम इट रिजल्ट फॉर्मेशन पोटाशियम ऑक्साइड मैग्नीशियम मैग्नीशियम ऑक्साइड लिथियम लिथियम ऑक्साइड कैल्शियम कैल्शियम ऑक्साइड और अदर ऑक्साइड्स विल बी फॉर्म बाय अदर मेटल्स टू दीज मेटल ऑक्साइड्स आर दे आर बेसिस आर दे एक्ट एज अ बेसिस मीन्स दे आर बेटर इन टेस्ट आर दे कैन चेंज रेड लिटमस इन टू बिल्यू लिटमस वेन दीज मेटल ऑक्साइड्स आर डिजॉल्व इन वाटर और वेन दे आर दे आर रिएक्टेड विद वाटर दे दे आर सॉलिबल इन वाटर एंड दे रिजल्ट इन द फॉर्मेशन Of metal hydroxides, there is a the formation of metal hydroxides. These metal hydroxides they behave same like the bases, uh, but uh, they are uh, they are usually called as alkalis because all these bases, all these metal oxides, they do not dissolve in water to result in the formation of these alkalis are metal hydroxides. That is why these uh, we can state that all alkalis are bases, but all bases are not alkalis. लेकिन कुछ alkalis ऐसे हैं, कुछ bases ऐसे हैं जो कि पानी में डिजॉल्व होकर एक सोल्यूशन को बनाती है जो सोल्यूशन को हम अलकली कहते हैं और सारी बेसिस जो है वो पानी में हल नहीं हो सकती है ऑल अलकलीज आर बेसिस बट ऑल बेस आर नॉट अलकलीज तो ये जो ये अलकलीज है ये बेसिस की तरह दे आर बेटर इन टेस्ट दे चेज रेड लेटमस इन टू बिटो लेटमस और दे आर सोपी टू टच दिस वॉज द फर्स्ट केस ऑफ द रिएक्शन of metals and now second case reaction with water these metals they react with water to result in the formation of metal oxides along with the formation of heat the amount of heat generated during this reaction is so so much high that the hydrogen which is a by product during this reaction it catches fire that is why this reaction is also called as exothermic reaction or such reaction are also called as vigorous reaction because during this reaction what happens fire can be fire, fire can be caused Uh, and this fire can be caused because uh, because of the release of a large amount of heat that's why the reaction is also called as a exothermic reaction and this uh, this uh, these reactions are usually uh, they are they, these reactions usually take place during controlled conditions we must uh, take utmost care during the uh, during the course of such reactions when these metals are reacted with water but in this particular case the nature of water differs for most active metals like lithium like sodium like potassium like calcium uh, during uh, these cases uh, during uh, during these uh, during during the case of reaction of these metals with water Uh, the water usually taken is cold water cold water is taken and uh, if we will react to such metals warm water they do not react and uh, during these uh, reactions uh, what is uh, what happens a large amount of heat is released and this amount of uh, heat can sometimes result in catching fire of the reactions for uh, certain uh, metals like iron like uh, copper like uh, palladium like silver what happens uh, the water usually taken is a uh, hot water hot water this is cold water uh, for such reaction uh, uh, it is Uh, it is uh, cold water for such reactions for when it will be a case of iron copper other other uh, hot other heavy metals rather which is heavy metals uh, we usually take it as cold water for certain cases uh, we take also take the case of steam like uh, for zinc or for aluminium and the oxides uh, the nature of oxides formed here also differs for example for metal oxides they are usually uh, these uh, uh, these uh, Uh, so sodium oxide lithium oxide or uh, calcium oxide they are usually basic oxides but if the case will be of zinc oxide or of aluminum oxide such oxides are called as amphoteric oxides amphoteric oxides amphoteric oxides these oxides are those oxides which are in between metallic oxides and non metallic oxides or which are between basic oxides and acidic oxides or amphoteric oxides are those oxides which show the property of both acids and bases acids and bases zinc oxide and aluminum oxide now there is another set of reaction the reaction is the reaction of metals with acids the reaction of metals with acids whenever these metals they react with the acids 
as, well, as we know that is there is substance which is so that these which convert us uh, blue litmus to red litmus uh, when these uh, metals react with acids they uh, result result in that in, in, in a reaction that reaction is called as displacement reaction for example if we will take here the case of iron when we will react with its sulfuric acid it results in the formation of this iron this is more reactive and it displaces this particular part hydrogen in the reaction and it results in the formation of iron sulfate along with the formation of hydrogen gas when metals are reacted with the sulfuric acid they result in displacement reaction or they, they result in the displacement of one atom by another atom occurs for example if we will take copper sulfate iron will be reacted with it iron is more reactive than the copper which is present in this uh, copper sulfate and it replaces this copper the formation of iron sulfate along with the formation of copper. Such reactions are called as displacement reaction, in which one metal or one atom it replaces another atom in the reaction mixture. Such reactions are called as displacement reaction. Same is the case uh, with uh, if we will take HCl. This sodium it will replace this hydrogen in the reaction mixture, result in the formation of NaCl along with the formation of hydrogen gas. Or another reaction is zinc along with sulfuric acid. It is the formation of zinc sulfate along with the formation of hydrogen gas. In in such reaction, what happens? A metal of uh, uh, or an atom of high reactive that displacement that displaces another atom of low reactive in the reaction the reaction is called a displacement reaction but when the case is with uh, nitric acid the such reaction does not occur uh, what happened in, in nitric acid nitric acid is basically a strong oxidizing agent strong oxidizing agent it means a strong oxidizing agent means that it releases oxygen and due to this release of oxygen this hydrogen it combines with that oxygen and result the formation of water hence uh, nitric acid does not uh, give um, such uh, reaction or uh, the reaction is not possible for, uh, with nitric acid but it is possible with sulfuric acid as well as hydrochloric acid and in case of nitric acid what happens nitric acid is a very strong oxidizing agent it releases oxygen uh, molecule or uh, it gives oxygen this oxygen uh, this uh, it gives oxygen oxygen atom or oxygen molecule this oxygen it, it reacts with hydrogen hydrogen uh, with hydrogen with this hydrogen to result in the formation of water to result in the formation of water and this nitrogen it itself is converted into oxides it can be converted into nitric oxide or uh, this called as a neutral it, it, it is it is nature is neutral or it is a formation of nitrogen dioxide or nitrous oxide hence the reaction is not possible with uh, nitric acid but it can be possible with sulfuric acid as well as it can be possible with hydrochloric acid this was all about uh, today's uh, lecture have a nice day